Hello YouTube, this is Eddie. I wanted to shoot a short video of my XT225. This is the this is a 1992 Yamaha XT225. I bought this motorcycle at a local uh, motorcycle shop. I was actually just walking by the store and I kind of saw the, the tire sticking out. As I walked close to it, I discovered that it was something that I've been looking for for quite a while. I just wanted to show you what I've, how it looks and, and uh, wanted to talk about what I've done to it. As you know, this is a an old motorcycle. It's, an, it's a 92 model. So when I bought it, 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 it needed a lot of work. I've Luckily, I'm a little bit mechanically inclined. There are some things that I had to, to take to the mechanic but I, what I first did is I took it to him and he, it was making some sort of noise somewhere around the engine and he said it needed the the uh, timing chain so we went ahead and ordered the timing chain and he he replaced replaced that another thing that we noticed is that the I guess this motorcycle was maybe standing in the rain for some for quite some time that the ball bearings on the steering were kind of frozen or, or stiff and we went ahead and replaced those. I've added a, a bar riser there as you can see. I'm not too sure what size it is. I think it's an inch, inch and a half bar riser. And it's just perfect for being able to stand. Now I'm a short guy. I'm about 5'5". Five five, so that's pretty much all that I need and as you can see I've kind of put a couple of stickers on it just to kind of stand out kind of looks pretty cool I've added a rear rack Let me see if I can show you that there's the rack right there and I also added one of these Optimus fuel tanks I ordered the fuel tank from Amazon and these little uh, these little clamps I got them at a local hardware store. They just kind of wrap. They kind of wrap around the rack there, and it's about 1.5 liters, or it is 1.5. So it gives me about I don't know 25, maybe 30 miles if I ever get stranded. Now the gas tank I believe is 2.2, 2.3, and as you can see, as, as XC225 owners know that there is no fuel gauge, so I kind of always have to monitor my Let's see if it focuses. There you go. I have to monitor my my mileage, and it gives me about 140, maybe 150 miles before I have to fuel up or change over to to the reserve. Another item that I added was a Pelican briefcase. I leave that briefcase on there all the time. Put a little lock on it, as you can see. And what I did is I just drilled some holes and put these little butterfly knock or uh, what, do you, what do you call those things um, butterfly knot, nuts I believe if I ever need to take it off I can just take that off now when I bought the motorcycle it didn't have this uh, this case on it this plastic uh, side case so I just made my own it's not a big deal there's another little sticker for people to kind of freak out when they see the motorcycle now I've ad already added a new clutch and I did that myself put these little Chinese uh, fork guards if I knew they were gonna look that poor I would have never put them on <clears throat> when I bought this motorcycle the front headlight was kind of pointing down and left so I took off the bracket and kind of beat it back into shape. There's a little split fire sticker, yikes. I kind of like the way that looks and people kind of see me from far, far away and they could move out of my way. There's a little Revzilla sticker, a little van sticker, another little sticker I bought at the local mall. Now one of the items I quickly encountered with this motorcycle, the starter clutch was out and when I would crank the starter, it would just kind of wind. 
it would just go whizz. And later I discovered that I needed to, one of the bolts on the starter clutch fell off and I replaced that. Along with that, we've put a new front and rear sprocket and a new chain to go along with that. It also has a new air, air filter. Oil, the oil has changed every 500 miles. <clears throat> and I use the Rotella 15W40 and it works, works great on this motorcycle. I've also added some, or rather replaced the front brakes. And this motorcycle is fun to ride around the, uh, around the trails. I don't expect for it to ever take me on any long distance trips. But it, it's a fun motorcycle. It's it's a carbureted model, so it, it kind of runs every now and then when it wants to. It gives me trouble every every so often. What I do is I carry a extra spark plug in the rear little Pelican briefcase along with some tools, and I just kind of swap that spark plug out, spark plug, sorry, and kind of keep it clean, and it, and it keeps it run, it runs well. <clears throat> so anyhow, just wanted to show you the XT. 225 with that rear rack hope you all like the video give me a like give me a thumbs thumbs up if you like the video hopefully I can take some some other videos of me exploring some of the local trails and going around some of the local or nearby towns Any, anyhow hope you enjoyed the video you all stay safe and have fun have fun riding Peace out.